Okay, guys, we're out for you here, and here today with the CrossFit legend Jason Kalipa, a huge honor for me. And guys, Jason is going to teach us here how to do a perfect dumbbell snatch today. So I'm very excited to learn, Jason. Every video, you're fired up, I'm fired up. Let's dive into the dumbbell snatch. Now, I brought out two dumbbells because you can actually do a double dumbbell snatch. Yep. But to start, we'll go off with just one. Now, to begin, I just want to demonstrate what a dumbbell snatch is and why it's so effective. So the dumbbell snatch takes the object from the ground to up over my head and back down again. Now, the reason why it's so effective is that it takes a load a really long distance. So think about movements that suck, burpees, whatever. Yep. It's because you're taking your body through a long range of motion. Same thing with this. I'm taking an object all the way from the ground all the way over my head, and I have to use a lot of energy to do so. Now, a progression, right? You start with a light dumbbell, and you work through some ranges of motion. What I just worked on is called a dumbbell power snatch. You could also do a dumbbell squat snatch if you want to do a little bit more advanced movement. But let's focus on the power snatch. So the dumbbell starts on the ground. The first thing you want to think about is that my stance is shoulder width apart. Remember, in other movements, we might be here underneath our hips to create power. Here, we actually want to be shoulder apart to create some room for that dumbbell to be. To begin, I start off with a single dumbbell deadlift. So it looks like this. I'm in this position here. Both heads or one can be on the floor. I can have my arm on my knee or I can't. It's up to you. From this position, what I'm thinking about is three key things. My weight is in my heels, my low back is flat, and my shoulders are on top of the object. All I'm gonna do is deadlift it up. Yep. Once you feel comfortable getting that deadlift on both arms, right? You could then start adding in a, a deadlift with a shrug. And what that teaches you is how to utilize your legs and hips to create a little bit of momentum. So it looks like this. I'm here, here. That's it. Here, here. And all I'm thinking about is squeezing my butt, extending my knees, opening the hip, and shrugging. That's it. From there, I'll then add in a high pull. So it looks like this. I already had my deadlift. I already had my shrug. Now I'm just going to come in here. Boom. Here, boom. And if you want to do one head on the floor or two, it's kind of up to you. Low back is flat, utilizing my legs and hips here. Now, the reason why I'm doing that is to teach my body to keep the dumbbell high and outside, keep my elbow, excuse me, and keep the dumbbell close to my body. The further that dumbbell gets away from my body, the less control I have. So now that I've gone through the progression, it looks like this. Deadlift, I feel good. Deadlift, shrug, I feel good. Deadlift, high pull, deadlift, high pull, and punch. Deadlift, high pull, and punch. I'm almost thinking about like starting a lawnmower. Boom! And I'm generating the momentum from legs and hips, and then finishing with my arm. Now, once I'm overhead, I'm in this locked out position. My arm is up against my ear. From here, I then lead with my elbow to regain my position. So it'll look like this. So I'm here, boom. Now, instead of coming back down, whoa! and letting that dumbbell take me. I keep it close to my body, so I stay in control. So look like this. Shoulder press. That's right, so it's here, right back here, boom, boom. Right here. Now if I want to switch arms, come down, switch arms, drive up. Right? Legs and hips, extend, open, finish. Here, control, switch. Boom, dumbbell. DB snatch, and you can alternate those arms. Deadlift, deadlift shrug, high pull, finish.